violence. If they choose violence and they're not giving you an option to walk away, then you have to. You know what I'm saying? Now, unfortunately, unfortunately, and here's where, like, the few people that do listen to me is about to get mad. Because I'm going to say something. I'm going to give a critique. I'm going to make some people mad with this, but I got to say it. Like, I got to talk, speak the truth. Um... As black men, it is our duty to protect our women. We must protect our women at all costs. Um, There was a story uh, a few years ago where a sister, she was like in her second or third trimester, and this uh, clown sits up there and all up in her face, calling her all kinds of uh, B words, and... um, he was old school, brother, old school. He had that uh, that little straw, um, you know what I'm saying? Derby, I think. Like, he had a little straw brim on, so you know, he's old school. Old head ups the pipe on him. Like, yeah. Now, what's happening? You ain't gonna disrespect this black queen in front of me. And that's our. that should be our energy. At all times. That should absolutely be our energy at all times. But um, here's the thing, and here's where people are going to get mad at me in this situation. My critique on the sister that got assaulted is she did not use emotionally emotional intelligence. And how she didn't do it, she even said it in her interview. In the interview, the few little articles that I read in um, YouTube of her actually speaking about the incident, she said he aggressively put his stuff on the counter. She touched his stuff and pushed it, like mushed it like to the side and that's where the violence ensued so he was already spouting off going off saying racial things and so you know it's their side the other person's side and then somewhere in the middle is the truth so while he was foul for putting his hands on her period Sister, she should have exercised emotional intelligence. And by that, she should have fell back and let him have it. It's not that crucial. Like they ain't going to let you leave the store without paying for your stuff. So if he want to be first to pay for his stuff, you should have just let him pay for his stuff first. Bottom line, let him pay for his stuff first. I got to argue and go back and forth with you. You know, you're the only woman in the store. They see him hooping and hollering like that. And the clerk ain't, you know, took no uh, initiative in the incident. They haven't went out their way to uh, be like, sir, you're going to have to calm all that or you got to get out of here. So there's no video footage of that popping up of a a, a clerk trying to... um, take control of the situation and de-escalate um, the guy, calm him down or, uh, you know, threaten to call the police if he don't get out of there like he should have, like he or she or whoever the hell was on duty. That's what they should have did. That's, you know, their responsibility. But, um, yeah, sisters, y'all have to help us help you. And the way you help us help you is like, um, you know, you can't be popping off like that. I'm, I'm laughing to keep from crying because it's not funny at all that um, she got um, her hand, uh, she got, you know, assaulted. It's not funny at all. And I'm not laughing at that. I'm just laughing like, 
Because some of y'all, some of y'all think y'all can really whip a man. I be seeing it all the time in the hood. Be getting all up in the dude's face and nin, 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 and get the neck going and snapping and you know. And then some females, some sister these days, they uh they got pistols and they like to pull their little pistol out, they like to pull their little blade out, you know, but at the end of the day you can't whip no man. So to help us help you, you have to conduct yourself in a ladylike manner. And a ladylike manner is like ladies don't argue in public. A lady can absolutely defend herself. This is why they, you know, make manufacture mace and stun guns and all that. So you have the absolute right to defend yourself. You have the absolute right to, you know, stab somebody or do whatever you need to do to get them up off you. But you got to help us help you. Like, don't be the little sister on the playground going around popping off on dudes and be like, I get my big brother. You know what I'm saying? Because this is war. And they do not play fair. So this clown was basically just sitting up in court, giggling and kicking. He was using manners then. In court, he was saying, yes, ma'am, and no, ma'am. They're telling him all what he's being charged with. And he absolutely should be charged with a hate crime because he would not have done it if um, he, she was Caucasian, if she was a Caucasian woman. He wouldn't have did that. So he knew what he was doing. But, again, the sister should have used emotional intelligence. She should have just let um, fool go ahead on, pay for her stuff. And, you know, because at the end of the day, you got to pay. They're not going to let you leave until you pay. So, should have just let him pay for her stuff. And, like, it's not backing down. It's not being, um, you know, fearful. This is picking your battles wisely. You can't fight. This is war and you can't fight every single battle. In war, you got to, uh, you know, beat a strategic retreat sometimes to get higher ground. You know, I don't care how big and tough you think you are. Everybody at one point or another, they had, to, uh, you know, check it up and be like, all right, later, man, I'll catch you on the rebound. You know, you got this one next time. Everybody done been there. Every, everybody done been there in any type of situation you can think of. I'm going to let you have this one. Sometimes you got to be like that because sometimes the situation dictates, you know, I'm going to let you have this one. Because it's like you got to uh, be intelligent and assess like what's been to happen? Like, is this situation worth me going to jail? Is this particular situation, uh, you know, worth me, you know, fighting for my life in court? And you have to do that sometimes. And if, you know, the situation doesn't warrant that, it's like walk away. Now. In that particular situation, I don't believe he would have put his hands on her had she not mushed his stuff to the side. I don't. And how she was telling the story, there's more to the story than that. Because if you want, go back and watch the interview on YouTube, listen to her talk. You can kind of even hear the aggression in her tone. She's showing her wounds, but she still kind of got that necro energy. Like, so that's, she put some extra energy in that. She was probably uh, called him some racist stuff too. It was like, you got me effed up. You better get the F on and woo, 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 woo. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think it just slid like that. I think it was a back and forth altercation verbally and then um she wouldn't back down and he put the paws on her which was all the way wrong 
definitely. Um, and he just looks like, you know, you can like visit, you can like sometimes you can like just like tell if a person's like physically, if they're racist. He just, he fits the physical profile of somebody in the Aryan nation. He just, his stance and his um, demeanor. So he ain't worried about going right to jail. He'll probably fit right in in the Aryan nation. Like he looks like he would be comfortable in jail. He is not, he was no type of remorseful, um, you know, while they were in his arraignment. So, you know, he didn't have no reservation about doing that. And a whole lot of these um, white supremacists don't have any remorse or reservations about any actions they take against us. So um, basically, all I'm saying, said all that to say, we have to be emotionally intelligent. We can't operate off emotion. You know, we got to reserve our energy and put our energy where it needs to go. And she should have let him have that win. Because unfortunate, he's not going to get charged with the hate crime, although he does deserve it. Um, he deserves the maximum whatever they can get uh, I would even say like if you put hands on a woman I think that would be like sexual assault cause like did he you know what I'm saying like but pretty much he's just going to get a slap on the wrist they're not going to award her any punitive damage they might even say she provoked it. There's a law, I'm not sure the um, name of the law, I probably have to Google it. It's um, a law where you, like, if you are at fault or have some type of fault against a crime, then, you know, you take like half of it, half the, you know, you have to get assessed half the damages if you, like, was at fault in any type of way. But um, that's all my commentary I had on that is like, it's so sad that she had her hands put, uh, like had that filthy beast put his hands on her like that. But, you know, at the same time, she should have let him have it. Like sometimes you got to know, like uh, I think what Kenny Rogers had a song, know when to hold him, know when to fold him. Sometimes you got to know when to fold them. Because, like, that's the thing about our sisters. Like, they definitely need to also keep, like, mace on them, keep a handgun, and not just, you know, keep a handgun. Because a lot of our sisters on Instagram with the little pink nine and sitting up there with the uh, tongue out on the Instagram showing their assault rifles and, like, you know, being cute, trying to make a fashion statement, but whole time it should be about survival. You need to be proficient with a firearm. You need to know how to maintenance it. You need to know how to clean it, load it, break it down, what type of rounds you need for the gun, all that, how to carry it. They got female holsters. You can carry them in your bra. You can carry them. Like, you know, in the small of your back, in your purse, there's all kinds of ways a female can conceal, uh, conceal a firearm. They even got firearms that, uh, for females that resemble just like um, hair brushes and um, hairspray. So there's options for self-defense. But again, to exercise those options, you have to be exercise emotional intelligence because we already know who the enemy is. The enemy is these white supremacists. They already got the law on their side, off the ripper. They're not worried about going to jail.